I'm Gus and this is Tara and um, we're at the Wandle in Middlemarch, Otago, New Zealand. We choose to wear wool because we know that in buying products that have wool in them they're going to last a lot longer and they're going to keep us warmer and keep us drier. With their natural properties they do both of those things. The best thing about natural fibres are that they are completely biodegradable so they will break down into a whole lot of little pieces as opposed to plastic which breaks up into pieces but never disappears. Partly what we've done here today is a little bit symbolic. We're returning the fibre back to the land that it was potentially grown on. We're demonstrating that it is a natural fibre, it does break down. I'm not sure how old this swan dry is to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm not even sure of its origins, I just know it's always been on the hook at the back door, ready to throw on when I need an extra layer. I think this one's ready to go in, into the ground and kind of back to where it, where it came from. So what we're doing today is a biodegradation trial. This garment is going to break down in the soil over time and biodegrade, uh, returning itself back to the earth that it was grown from. <laughs> we'll cut it right down the middle into four even pieces. We'll pass this beautiful uh, synthetic patch which will actually not break down. So uh, when we dig it back up we should see that still looking perfect and then all the rest of this will be all decomposing in the soil, which will be really cool. We're going to bury three of them in this wire in the ground so that we can find it again when it comes time to pull it back up and see how much it's decomposed. And with the fourth bit, we'll actually take that away with us. We'll pop um, soil from this site into the into pots so we can kind of track the progress, I guess. And we're predicting in sort of six to 12 months, we'll see a good level of decomposition. It might take 18 months for it to completely disappear, but yeah, that's what this is all about, is um, having a look at that decomposition process. Yeah, they'll help break down the jersey. That's exactly right. <laughs> So it's really important for us to work with companies like Swan Dry that, that their values are aligned with, with their own values. The guys at the end of the day on farm put in a huge amount of effort. So yeah, we've got five permanent staff and they're a huge part of what we do. We couldn't be doing it without them. At the end of the day, the more effort they put in, the better the product is at the other end. It means that they take more pride in, in what mm. they're doing that influences that product. a lot of time and effort and resources that go into everything that we produce so we want to make sure that our products are the absolute best that they can be. Smoke. Walk up. <laughs> We're very, very lucky to be farming here with our children. They love it, they don't know any better, but there's a lot of a lot of freedom and a lot of space for them to to explore and be themselves. And also to experience the circle of life. They can gain an appreciation for the, the food they eat and the um, clothes they wear. We will always endeavour to leave any farm better than when we found it. And I'm pretty confident we'll instill those values in our children as well. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be it's going to be amazing actually to see how much it decomposes and um, yeah, and watch that sort of process of returning it to where it came from. It becomes a really circular cycle, which is uh, pretty amazing to see because this is a natural fibre which uh, can be grown again and again and again and returned to the land every time. 